Uncertainty, the one thing that markets hate, right? Well, perhaps not. If that were the case, European assets would surely be lower. As it is, despite the huge uncertainty surrounding Greece, Spain's possible bailout and the ECB's next steps, stocks, peripheral bonds and the euro are all holding their ground today. I'm Jamie McGeever and this is today's Market Pulse. Well, let's get straight out now to Eric Cheney. He's Chief Economist at AXA Group in Paris. Eric, um, euro above 125, Spanish 10-year yields closer to 6% than 7 and um, stocks looking OK. Why are investors so sanguine? I think that since uh, Mario Draghi, the ECB's president, has said that the ECB will do whatever it takes to preserve the euro, and he added, and believe me, it will be enough, I think that the markets have taken his words very seriously. Markets are convinced that now the ECB is going to intervene maybe massively, maybe in an unlimited fashion to, pre to prevent the, the spreads between Spain, Italy and Germany to widen too much. And the markets have taken a very positive view because that was a very strong statement that was not the case before. It, it, it was a strong yeah. statement. It was a strong statement, but it's not been backed up by anything since. I mean, we have lots of speculation what they might do, what they might not do. There's still a lot of uncertainty. Absolutely. You're perfectly right. I would say that the, the markets have, have bought the news. I'm not sure that uh, they will uh, buy the fact. Now, we are seeing a very strong opposition building in Germany. There is even a senior politician in uh, Frau Merkel's camp who said that uh, Mario Draghi will remain in history as a money forger. Would you believe that? This opposition is, of course, also the Bundesbank opposition and some other countries are against the ECB buying bonds. So we will see what is the compromise within the ECB to intervene probably in the very short end of the bond markets as far as Italy and Spain are concerned. But the facts are unlikely to match the expectations of the markets. That is my analysis. So, so in that case then, do you think markets are setting themselves up for a fall? Yeah, I, I think, you know, there was a very, very thin, uh, there were very thin volumes traded in August. So that was relatively easy to go up and you have to take a position. And these days it is either risk on or risk off. So you have to make your choice. And it was risk on. Now, when we get to the facts, there is this ECB meeting on the 6th of September. There is the German Constitutional Court ruling on the 15th of September. I'm afraid that the markets will go in the opposite direction. What do you think Draghi will announce uh, Thursday next week? I think the ECB, Draghi, in that instance, will announce that uh, provided that the countries which are in trouble make a request to the EFSF and then to the ESM, then the ECB will do its job to make sure for the markets that the euro is going to be sustained. And the translation will be that the ECB will buy relatively short maturities of government bonds of those countries which are making the request. So the scenario that everybody has in mind is that Spain will make this request and that at some point in time, September, October, the ECB will start its actual interventions without giving any target, neither in terms of quantities nor in terms of interest rates. OK, Eric, thank you very much. That was Eric Cheney, Chief Economist at AXA Group in Paris. And that was today's Market Pulse. Tune in at this time each weekday for your daily dose of what's moving on markets and why. I'm Jamie McGeever. This is Reuters.